Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to talk about the fish and this amazing group of animals. Well, as you know, li fishes live underwater. And what do they need so they can live underwater? Well, they need three very important things. First of all, is this part right here that you should know the name. Do you remember the name? Yes, fins. The second thing that is very important is these little lines here that are called gills. And the third thing that is very important is the shape of their body. The shape of their body is called a torpedo shape. That means it's like this. And why is this shape very important? Because thanks to this, they can swim in the water and push against the water and move up and down and all the ways in the water. As you know, fins are also very important so they can swim and they can move around. But we are going to focus on gills. They are very important and these are, this is the main reason why fishes can live and breathe, very important, underwater. They don't have lungs like we do and they have gills that they use to take the oxygen from the water. How do the gills work? Well, they take the water in through the gills, they go in, and they take the oxygen that they need, O2, well, water, H2O. They take the O2, and what do they do when the water is in the gills? They, the water goes through it, and they have a tiny thing that it's called capillaries. I'm going to write it here. Capillaries. And thanks to these capillaries, they take the oxygen and then they expel the carbon dioxide and the water outside. Amazing, right? How it works. They take, I'm going to repeat again, they take the water inside, they take with the capillaries the O2, the oxygen, and then they expel again the water and the carbon dioxide. Oh, sorry, pay attention, be careful. I think I told you that the water goes in the gills of the fish, but no, the water goes in the mouth of the fish and the gills with the capillaries, remember, take the oxygen and then they expel the carbon dioxide, but the water goes in the mouth and then the water goes out the gills, but not in the gills, okay? Sorry, I think I said it like that. Okay, let's go on. Okay, now we are going to continue with the types of fishes. So, we have two main types of fishes. The first one is, are the bony fishes. And we have again our little fish that was with us at the beginning. These are the main fishes that have hard skeleton and hard bones. And then we have the cartilaginous fishes. Be careful because this is a very long word. Cartilaginous. Okay? This type of fishes we can find, for example, sharks. These fishes have uh, bones. Their bones are softer and flexible. Okay? But I want you to pay attention, you don't have to answer to me these questions. What other types, what other examples can you tell me 
of cartilaginous fishes. Can you tell me more examples? And second question, do we have cartilage in our body? Do we humans have cartilage? I want you to investigate. And you have to tell me tomorrow, okay? And to continue with sharks, now that we are talking about sharks, well, we know that fishes are oviparous, right? That means that they lay eggs. Well, do you think that sharks are only oviparous or can they be any different? I want you to investigate and tell me if they can have their babies, their offspring, only laying eggs or in any different ways, okay? So are they only oviparous or something else? So these are your questions, remember, for tomorrow. I hope you have enjoyed and you have liked this video about the fishes. Bye-bye!